So, I imagine most, if not all of you watching, have already seen this image. It's a pretty exciting day for science. Black holes are no longer speculation, no longer an estimate based on mathematics and observations of gravity, and no longer an assumption as we watch a star swirl around to its demise. Now we've seen one. Scientists have successfully managed to, over a period of years, take a real image of the supermassive black hole around which the elliptical galaxy Messier 87 spins. We've always wondered what black holes really look like. Since they're so incredibly dense, they're difficult to observe, as they absorb everything around them and don't reflect it back, including light. There's been a few fictional depictions of black holes in film, as well as some in video games. My two personal favorites are the following. These are black holes as they appear in the real-time strategy game Sins of the Solar Empire. While it's a little simplified in terms of the hole itself, it does a very good job of imagining the violent and highly radioactive event horizon. The second, my personal favorite, comes from Elite Dangerous. While they don't do much in the way of a visible event horizon, they do an extremely good job of showing gravitational lensing, and the way the black holes distort the very fabric of reality around them with their mass. So, now we know for sure. Black holes, at least this one anyway, look like this. Pretty spectacular, I've gotta say. Now, why have I made this video? Well, because I've been waiting for Flurfers to whine about the black hole, and now it's finally happened. I found a video titled, Black Hole in Fake Space, and I started watching. I paused it almost immediately upon realizing the Flat Earther was going to be responding to a video titled, Black Hole Image to Send Flat Earthers into Meltdown Mode. So I went and grabbed my popcorn. I haven't watched the video yet, but before I hit play, here's me playing Nostradamus here. He's gonna go into meltdown mode and not even realize it. Black hole image to send flat earthers into meltdown mode. This is the first ever image of a black hole. Everyone, I am back on the ball. Never mind the flat earth. I'm spinning on a ball in space, flying through outer space, okay? I admit it. Well, we've already got some over-the-top sarcasm. Keep going, little flurf. I'm listening. This is what they're talking about. And just because some little girl did something for NASA, that doesn't make it true either. It's just a weird remark to call a full-grown woman a little girl, isn't it? By the way, she was one of a team of people. She's just being talked about because, you know, yay for women in science and all that. My friends would mock and scoff at this. The world mocks and scoffs at this. Bl black hole image to send flat earthers into meltdown mode. That really is a sweet picture. Too bad flat earth believer cannot appreciate it for what it is. Obviously all they will do is claim it is fake and move on to their delusion as usual. You, sir, globe strikes back are brainwashed. Nice. He lasted a full minute before I'm officially going to say he's triggered. He pulled the brainwashing card. I always find it hilariously ironic that flurfs think everyone is brainwashed because someone told them that they were brainwashed. This is not an argument between people, okay? The earth is flat. No one's going to get a gotcha moment on me. Why? Because the truth is the earth is flat and these people are clinging to delusions. They're the delusional ones. They're the brainwashed ones, okay? <laughs> the flat earth is important because it shows Satan's deceptions for what they are. Flat earth is important because it's the truth. So there's a black hole now, right? And everyone's mocking flat earth because of the black hole. And I read a comment here that it's like, flat earthers are fine because they do see it's fake. Brothers and sisters, I don't have much to say with this one. Oh, for God's sake, man. Video editing software is free and easy to learn. There are hundreds of ways for you to download a YouTube video for you to use yourself without having that buffering problem. 
or the fact that your reflection is distracting from anything else on screen. Flurfs, the masters of potato technology. Also, no, Flat Earth is not the truth and it's not important. He kind of sounds like Richard Dreyfus in Close Encounters at this moment. This means something. <laughs> this is important. This image, a black hole in outer space. I will say right now, again, I don't believe in space. I believe in the firmament that God made. There's no vast outer space. You don't hear about black holes in the Bible. People can cling to science, quote unquote, all they want to. Oh, he's one of those. Okay, we've got a Nathan Roberts Jr. over here. Well, let's think on this for a second, buddy. The Bible doesn't say anything about black holes. And there's no space because Bible says firmament. Got it. Okay. Well, Bible says a lot of things. And a lot of them are pretty bad, man. Regardless of your stance on the existence of any god, I'm not sure if the Bible is the best place to take a hyper-literal interpretation on how to live your life from. We're in the last days, the end of the world the way it is. God is coming back to correct things. If you want to know the truth, pray to God. Don't listen to this world anymore. It's sad. Every day, I am sad. <laughs> when I see people in their lies and delusions, their satanic lies, they're walking around unsaved, dead in their sins, and they mock flat earthers because flat earthers, for the most part, are telling you the truth. Whoa, 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 whoa. For the most part? You're just gonna slip that in there like I didn't notice? Ooh, he's a slippery fish. But I heard that. It's weird that flirts can't seem to figure out the lying aspect of their cult. I mean, Jism and Bob Nodell get caught fudging their experiments. That's interesting. That's interesting. And suddenly they're controlled opposition. Are you kidding me? Have you seriously never once considered the idea that every single one of them is in the exact same place as Jaren and Bob? Have you not even once imagined that they are the ones pulling the wool over your eyes? Not to mention, if there were controlled opposition, why in the blue hell would they be outed by the opposition? Come on, man. If you're a real flat earther, you know God is right above us. All of this quote unquote science, if you want to defend it, you're taking it to your grave. You're taking it to hell with you, okay? Which God? Which hell? You realize there's more horses in this race, right? You're betting not just against atheists and scientists, but against every single other religion too. If I was a gambling man, I'd go with the one you can verify for yourself if you have the willpower and the wherewithal. Laugh at the flat earthers all you want, mock and scoff, think we're so stupid, I don't care. The truth is the truth, it lives on forever, God is the truth, space is fake, the flat earth is real, the globe was an idea that people are clinging to and it's sad. God bless you everyone. You know, if you switch a few words around there, you're describing yourself. My friends, this is what a cult member looks like. Angry, hostile, paranoid, delusional, and completely unfulfilled. This person will end their life with the exact same level of knowledge and insight that they have right now. They will never learn, they will never adapt, they will never overcome, and they will never reach any kind of self-satisfaction in their life. Flurfers, ask yourselves. Is this what you really want to be? Thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel, which is Dead Kennedy in Space. My name is Kevin, and I'm out. Like it or not, for the moment, the Earth is where we make our stand.